you a better feel for exactly kind of what this thing does? It doesn't stay still. I think we kind of look at it. It's been called an oil drilling platform, but that's really not what it was. Well, it, as I mentioned, it sits on top of a semi-submersible platform. So as I talked about, the radar is the ball at the top, which commonly referred to as a golf ball, as most of the public sees it. Uh, that platform enables it, the ability, gives it mobility. What we found in the last three years or so of uh, operating out here in the Pacific is that we spent an enormous amount of time to see, uh, I mentioned almost 300, over 300 days in the year. Uh, is SBX takes part in test events, development events, and real world operations. So it's maneuverable and it has been all over in the Pacific. I mean, the, the, this radar inside is huge, 85 feet across. What can it see? Well, I'll give you an analogy. So as I mentioned it tracks small objects at very large distances, very long distances. One analogy that's used, you can put the SBX in the Chesapeake Bay and it can track something the size of a baseball hit outside your Safeco field up in the air, provided that to get over the curvature of the earth as you but it has that kind of distance and that size object that it can track. Colonel, tell us about the ray dome. What are the dimensions of that thing? How, how uh, high above sea level does it reach? Well, the uh, top of the radome, so I mentioned from the keel to the top is 280 feet. Uh, today, really 250 feet from the water level up to the top of the radome. Uh, the actual radar inside there is, is octagonal shaped. It's 85 foot diameter. So the radome just covers the top of that. Uh, and, and, uh, provides an environmental protection to the radar. 